Hello, my name is Jane Harding. I'm the Target Wellbeing Coordinator for Age UK Cheshire in Ellesmere Port. Um, the brief of the project is to try and engage the older people in Ellesmere Port in becoming more physically active, um, to decrease social isolation and to improve their mental wellbeing. We found in the beginning it was really hard to get people engaged in physical activities and the drama group has almost been a roundabout way of doing this and has been really successful. Jane, what, what factors have helped your project develop and achieve the results that you've achieved? I think one of the biggest factors has been working in partnership. Uh, we have done some partnership working with the street sport activators at the Epic Leisure Centre. Through them, we've run the Fit, Fab and 50 Taster Days. We've done three of those. Um, we've also done work with the community centres where um, they provided tutors in things like um, information technology and digital photography. Um, and I have provided the advertising and um, the room hire fees and things like that. Um, a really successful one at the moment has been uh, working with Cheshire West and Cheshire Sports Development in the Nordic Walking Programme. Um, it's been very, very successful and we're actually uh, nominated for the Innovations Award for that. artistic director for a new theatre company um, who uh, was contracted to, to, to run this session. And the session itself is actually really quite exciting because it's the first session I've ever come across that's uh, directly uh, made uh, available to over 50s. So it was talking about a, a group that generally is quite um, ignored as far as compared to like, for instance, community theatre, youth theatre. Um, so it, it, it was a really exciting opportunity for um, myself and my company to get involved. So um, yeah, it was, and, and the, the work that, that the over 50s produce is, is insightful, exciting and really quite energetic as far as they're not tied in by all the taboos that often go along uh, with, uh, with younger, younger members. But. My name is Kath Doherty. I live in Ellesmere Port. Um, this is the first time I've been any, anywhere doing anything with over 50s with people my age. Made lots of new friends, got a new lease of life. Prior to all this, I was in a real, a real bad rut, um, and it's just given me a lift because I did actually have a tendency to get a little bit depressed. So this has been really good for me. Hello, my name's Adele Griffiths. I'm from Ellesmere Port, and I'm very happy to have met these ladies in this drama group. It's so lovely. Good. Hi, my name is Lorraine, and I live in Chester. Um, I joined this art group through friends and made a lot more friends and it's a great place, they're all lovely people and one in, especially Barry who's the actor who does it in his own time, at his own expense and he's a great guy and he's been really helpful to us. Um, we actually wrote our own play this time and performed it so we, you know we, we feel quite proud of ourselves for doing that but we'd like to you know take it further now and to if we're lucky and we get funding and we can carry on, we'd like to do a play involving everyone, you know, a whole group thing, which will be great. Good. So you, you wrote the play that you're performing today yourself? Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. So did you, do you all have some input into the, uh, into the production of it? Yes, we're all, we're all in it and we do a monologue each while the rest of the cast is frozen. Right. And um, it, it's really quite good. Well, people say it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is. Did I tell you that we used to go away from Dublin? Yes, you did, then. She loves me better in the flesh than she does in Coronation Street. God bless you, Queen. <laughs>
like it's still got lead in his little girls. Trust her to say something like that. <laughs> Project for you? Um, I think for this drama project, it's probably actually been today, seeing it all come together. Um, this is a group of people who, when we started uh, in June, so six months ago, were literally terrified of standing up and um, saying anything in public. And I know um, a couple this morning were, were hoping for snow and that they wouldn't be able to do it, but uh, I think secretly they were actually looking forward to it. And to see them do this performance this afternoon, ad-libbing when you know, people forgot lines and the audience were totally unaware of that. It's just the, the self-esteem, uh, the confidence boost, and I think a lot of them um, are a whole new circle of friends. I know some of them are now form little subgroups and they go off to the theatre together. Um, in terms of um, preparing for these plays, they've been meeting other people's houses and you know, socialising. And that's what it's all about, making new friendships, building your confidence, doing something completely different that you never thought you'd do. So it's been a success then? Definitely.